proof about nothing in particular is no question. Say, deal with something that I submitted and say, uh, can you prove that that is more efficient? But well, if you live 10 minutes away from work, or well, four minutes is better than an hour. If your community surrounds the industrial district, it's more efficient. And if you say to me, well, here's where it isn't, then I can deal with it. So I don't want to have to, it, I don't know if you know this, all doctors used to work on autopsies. You know what that is? Work on dead people. Then they'd go and, and work on a mother that's pregnant. They do surgery and deliver babies. And childhood death was a big thing in the old days. So this doctor tried to tell doctors to wash their hands after they did surgery. So who the hell are you to tell us to wash our hands? So he cut, he did surgery on a cadaver and then he cut his own skin and he died of childbirth fever. Just to show them and then they began to wash their hands. You can't talk to doctors if they think they're doing the right thing. Unless a doctor says, I, I'm not sure, I don't know. That's a very rare cause in human beings. I'm sorry it's that way. I wish they were objective, scientific. That's only on paper and school books. Alexander Graham Bell, the guy that made the telephone, he used to teach the deaf how to speak. He put a candle in front of soup, soup, and the candle would flicker. Other people didn't know how to do that. And one day, he had a gadget with a needle on it. And when he vibrated it, the needle vibrated, and he got a voice recording. Accidentally discovered it. And he made the telephone. He was not an electrical engineer. He was a phoneticist, taught language. And I'm sorry it's that way. I wish that scientists always came up with great ideas. <coughs> They're not really scientists to me yet. Maybe in the future they will be generalists. Well, they know many different things and they know what questions to ask. So when you say, well, who the hell do you to say that dancing has no meaning or earrings are nothing? I'm just telling you that earrings don't improve a person's hearing. They don't put them in touch with the world. But I know that in the future, you'll wear a ring. And if you're hurt in an accident, when they bring you in a hospital, that ring will make all your records come up. The doctor doesn't say, what, what, what bothers you? Where's the pain? He gets all those records immediately. I don't want a guy that says, well, yeah, well, where does it hurt? How long have you had that? You go on your records to come out right away so he knows who the hell you are. He doesn't think that way. And when I told the doctor about memory metals, he said, you're dreaming. Instead of saying, no, where can I get proof of this? I'm sorry about that. I wish they did say, have you got proof of 